Hello and welcome back to another video lesson all about special products. At the end of this video lesson, the learner will use models and algebraic methods to find the product of binomials. Specifically about using the FOIL method, the sum and difference of two terms, the square of a binomial, and cube of a binomial. Before anything else, let us review by solving the following. Number one, we are multiplying two monomials. We simply multiply their numerical coefficients, 8 times 2, that's 16, and then multiply the literal coefficients using the loss of exponents, so that will be 1 plus 4, 5. Number two, this is about multiplication of monomial to a polynomial. We use the distributive property, so we can have 2a cubed times 5a to the 4th, 10a to the 7th power, and then multiply this to the second term, 2a cubed times negative 7a, that is negative 14a to the 4th. Number 3, this is also monomial to a polynomial, we do distributive property negative 8x times 9x, that's negative 72x squared, and negative 8x times negative 2y, that is positive 16xy. Number 4 is about binomial to a binomial. Here, we can still use the distributive property that is to multiply each factor of one polynomial to another, so that will be a long method, while number 5, this is the square of the binomial x minus 2. It means x minus 2 times x minus 2. For this video lesson, pag-aaralan natin yung short way on how to do number 4 and number 5 easily. The first method that we have is is for product of two binomials. Ito ay applicable whenever we multiply any two binomials using the FOIL method. FOIL stands for F, first terms, O, outer terms, I, inner terms, and L, last terms. So for example, in this given, kailangan nating determine which ones are the first, outer, inner, and last terms. When we say first terms, ito yung respective first term ng bawat binomials, just like x and x. When we say outer terms, ito naman yung mga terms na halos nasa labas or nasa gilid ng dalawang binomials. For inner terms, these are the terms na nasa pinaka gitna, like negative 2 and x. And for the last terms, these are the respective last terms of each binomial, like negative 2 and 5. So now that we're done identifying each term, we simply multiply this. x times x, x squared, x times 5, 5x, negative 2 times x, negative 2x, and negative 2 times 5, that's negative 10. And then usually, the outer and the inner terms can still be combined because they are like terms. 5x minus 2x, that is 3x. So therefore, here, the final answer, x squared plus 3x minus 10 using the FOIL method. Another example, we have these two binomials. Let's use the FOIL method. 2a times a, that's 2a squared. For the outer terms, 2a times 7, that is 14a. For the inner terms, we have negative 4 times a, that's negative 4a. And for the last terms, negative 4 times 7, that's negative 28. Again, we have the similar terms. 14a and negative 4a, so we can combine 14 minus 4, that's 10a. So therefore, we have here 
2a squared plus 10a minus 28. And for the last example, still by using the FOIL method, first terms, we have 3x times x, that's 3x squared. For the outer terms, 3x times negative 10, that's negative 30x. For the inner terms, negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x. And for the last terms, negative 2 times negative 10, that's 20. So again, we can still combine negative 30x and negative 2x to have negative 32x. Therefore, our final answer here is 3x squared minus 32x plus 20. So that is by using the FOIL method. The next method is about the sum and difference of two terms. Itong method na to ay applicable whenever we multiply two binomials with the same first terms and last terms at nagkakaiba lang sa operation dito. This is about sum while this is the difference. The technique here is to simply square the first term minus the square of the second term can have the answer as the difference of the squares of each term. Number one, as you can see, we have the same first terms, x, and the same last terms, 2, at nagkakaiba lang sa operation. So sabi nga, to simply square the first term minus the square of the last terms. So x times x that is x squared minus 2 times 2, that is 4. So we simply have x squared minus 4. Actually, you can still use the FOIL method, x times x, x squared, outer terms, x times 2x, that's positive 2x, negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x, and the last terms, negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4. And notice, we will always have the outer and the inner terms to be cancelled because this will result to 0. And therefore, we will have the remaining x squared minus 4. Okay? So again, this method is only applicable for the sum and difference of two terms. So another one, whenever you use this, you must examine that the first terms are the same as well as the last terms. The technique is to square the first terms minus the square of the last terms. And we'll have here y squared minus 4 squared, that is 16. So another example, still they have the same first terms, 3x, and the same last terms, 5. So we simply square the first terms minus the square of the last terms. So we have 3x times 3x, that is 9x squared minus 5 squared, that is 25. Please take note na ito ay applicable lamang for the sum and difference of two terms. The next method is about square of a binomial. Ito ay applicable whenever there is a binomial na kailangan mo pang is square. So as you can see, we have a result that is a perfect square trinomial. To have that answer, we simply square the first term and then add it to twice the product of first and last term and add it to the square of the last term. So let's have this. The quantity x minus 2 raised to 2. So dito, we have x as the first term and negative 2 as the last term. Based on the technique, we simply square the first term x and then add it to twice the product of the first and last terms, x and negative 2, and add it to the square of the last term. Therefore, here, x times x, 
that's x squared, 2 times negative 2 times x, that's negative 4x, and then negative 2 squared, that is 4. So we have the perfect square trinomial x squared minus 4x plus 4 as the answer. Another one, again, we have this binomial at kailangan natin is square, in which the first term is y, the last term is 4. We square the first term, add it to twice the product of the first and last terms, and add it to the square of the last term, which is 4. Therefore, we have here y squared plus 2 times 4 times y, that's 8y, plus 4 squared, that's 16. So we'll have y squared plus 8y plus 16 for number 2. And for the third one, in which 3x is the first term, negative 5 is the last term. So we square the first term, 3x, add it to twice of the first term, 3x, and the last term, negative 5, and add it to the square of the last term, negative 5. So we'll have 3x squared, that's 9x squared, and that plus 2 times 3x times negative 5, 2 times 3, 6 times negative 5, negative 30x, plus the square of the last terms, positive 25. So we have the answer, 9x squared minus 30x plus 25. Okay? The last method is about the cube of a binomial. Dito naman, instead of squaring, ay hahanapin natin ang cube ng binomial. So to have this answer, we simply cube the first term, add it to thrice the product of the square of the first term and second term, and then add it to thrice the product of the first term and square of the second term, and add to the cube of the last term. Here, ang given natin ay binomial at kailangan natin tong i-cube. So let's follow those steps. We have x here as the first term and negative 2 as the last term. So what we're going to do is to cube the first term and then add it to thrice the square of the first term. Square natin ang first term and ang second term ay negative 2. And then add it to thrice. This time, ang i-square natin is yung last term which is negative 2 and add it to the cube of the last term, which is negative 2. So with that, we can now compute easily x cubed, that's the first term, the second term, 3 times negative 2 times x squared, that is negative 6x squared. Next, the third term, 3 times negative 2 squared, Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, and this will be positive 12x. And then, the cube of negative 2, negative 2 times negative 2, 4, times negative 2, that's negative 8. So therefore, we'll have this as the final answer x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 8. Next, the first term is y and the last term is 4. So we follow the rule. We cube the first term y, add it to thrice the square of the first term y squared and then times the second term plus thrice the first term and square of the second term plus the cube of the last term. So we compute y raised to 3 is y cubed. 3 times 4 times y squared, that's 12y squared. Next, we have 3 
times 4 squared times y. 4 squared is 16 times 3, that's 54. And then y plus the cube of 4, which is 64. So we have here y cubed plus y squared plus 54y plus 64. And the last example, the quantity 3x minus 5 cubed. The first term is 3x, the last term is negative 5. So we cube the first term plus thrice square of the first term times the second term plus thrice the first term times the square of the second term plus the cube of the last term. So here we can have 3x raised to 3. 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27x cubed plus 3 times 3, 9 times negative 5, that's negative 45x squared. Then 3 times 3, 9 times negative 5 squared, that's 225x minus negative 5 cubed. That's 25 times 5, 125. So we'll have 27x cubed minus 45x squared plus 225x minus 125. So again, this method is for the cube of a binomial. Okay? So remember, when we say special products, these are techniques or short ways to write the product of a binomial depending on the form of the given. So we can have the sum and difference of two terms. This is applicable only if the first and the second terms are the same and nagkakaiba lang sa plus and minus sign. Next one is for the square of a binomial, that is, kung kailangan is square yung binomial, we can have the answer as the perfect square trinomial. And we also have the cube of a binomial, that is, multinomial as the final answer here. And kung sakali mang makalimutan ang isa sa mga ito, you can still go back to the basic method which is the FOIL method. That is by adding the product of the first terms, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms of binomial. Okay? So let me see if you have understood something for today. Please try to answer the following. Pause for a while and go back and play it afterwards to see the correct answers. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned the techniques or methods in multiplying binomials using special products. Thank you and God bless.